Hello? What the hell was that? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thing. No. All right. Since I was going to do more of these, but I decided I was going to do the last recipe for the day. But sometime big. But um. But this time we're going to react to Scratches at America Most Haunted Asylum Pants Hurts with Amy Cripps, of course. By Chris Starr. For those who don't know who she is, y'all should go uh, subscribe to her, to Chris Starr. Of course, we add into the another of uh, uh, Paranormals Investigators reaction. Of course, I haven't done this one for a while since I forgot. I was gonna save it on October, but. October is everything, you know. <laughs> but um but I um wanna give her a shout out because um even though that I really want to be a paranormal a paranormal investigators I mean I know a lot of people never care but but I'm sure most people do because it's very important to say, Hey go you know, do it, you know, go ahead and do it, you know do this, um, and, um, yeah, I know that make sure, you know, stay safe because, you know, I didn't want any, anything bad happens to me, of course, so, yeah, and I would love to have collaboration of everything on there because, um, I really hope that, um, if I, if I were to collaborate with, um, Either Sammy Corey, oh sorry, Sammy Kobe or um any other that I see professional as um you know just I have to stay safe out there and yeah I probably have to learn some self defense and anything bad happens to me of course with some random stranger or some random serial killer who's trying to kill me, of course, or anything that has happened, then I'd allow to defend myself. So that's what worries me. So yeah, but um, but yeah. So let's check it out in five, four, three. Ow! What the? F kind of freaked out because I have two cuts on my leg and I don't know where they're from. Black mouth. It started coming towards me. I took off. I started running. I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, yeah, you better run. <laughs> Yo. That's what worries me. Um. Stand this doors. is Penhurst Asylum, formerly known as Penhurst State School, and opened its doors in 1908. It housed over 3,000 children with mental disabilities, some of which didn't belong institutionalized. These children were often ignored, punished, and exploited by numerous experimental treatments that would harm them. Some would cause long-term effects on their fragile bodies. For decades, children oh. who couldn't fit into society were sent off to Penhurst and knowingly abused and neglected. It was originally built to sustain only 500 children, but this number quickly grew to over 3,500, with a total staff count of only 600. Even though they were already overcrowded, Penhurst was often forced to take in immigrants, orphans, and criminals, mixing them with innocent children. The rapid overcrowding and lack of staff quickly led to extreme abuse and severe neglect. Penhurst was exposed in 1968 in a five-part news series titled Suffer the Little Children. Despite their That's efforts to create up. a play area for the children in the basement, they named Candyland. It turned into a place of doom for many. Its colorful walls and vintage toys are still intact, but it doesn't appear to be so joyous. While some patients report happy times with their stay at Penhurst, many suffered at the hands of tired and fed up staff. One report stated they witnessed more than 80 children being looked after by only two staff members. Some children were left unattended for so long in their cribs that they lost their ability to walk or crawl. Many were covered in filth, 
their own feces and seemingly malnourished. Some staff members were found to have tied patients to their beds for hours and sometimes even days. Children were often heavily sedated to keep them calm. If patients showed signs of aggression, such as biting, they would even remove all of their teeth. This happened so often oh that God. after their closure, That's visitors sad. would find teeth inside of the asylum. Even after Penhurst's inhumane and unethical ways of treatments were revealed, they managed to stay open for another 20 years. It sat abandoned for many years, allowing unwanted visitors to break in and wreak spiritual havoc. There are reports of ritual remnants that were left in the tunnels that connected all of the buildings. Could those rituals be the reason for the dark energy that still lingers? Or is it simply the energy of those once living who suffered in torment during their stay? In 1977, it was ruled that the conditions violated patients' rights. And in 1983, nine staff members were charged with the abuse of patients, some that is too heinous to mention. The asylum was ultimately closed in 1987, leaving many patients with no place to go. Many were sent off to other asylums with similar conditions or deinstitutionalized. Some of Penhurst still remains today, standing as a reminder of its horrific past. It's quiet here now. All you can hear is the sound of the breeze or the whispers of the souls that either chose to stick around or can't find their way out. Jeez, hey guys, what's up? Chris Star here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at one of the most demented places that I could possibly find here on the East Coast, Penhurst Asylum. We are about to go to the literal depths of hell down to the tunnels that connect all of the buildings. I, I am like here with word. Amy's Crypt and Jared. So let's give a big warm welcome to Amy and Jared. I've been wanting to work with them forever. They're here from Australia. Hey! Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to work with you and to investigate Penhurst. We are doing something super interesting. We are experimenting oh. with a few different oh, entities. We sent Jared to go to the king in the main building called the Mayflower. The Mayflower. I keep saying the main flower because I'm dyslexic truly. He will be in that building and there is an entity there that does not like men. And Amy and I are venturing down to the tunnel system where there is an entity that does not like women. So let's get to it, but just get ready oh. for a crazy ass video. And if you have not already watched my uncut video, go and check that video out. It is already up on my channel. Oh. Are we ready to go? Ow. I don't like the tunnels, I'm just gonna check say. So Amy has been here before, but this is my first time here. So I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Amy, what am I getting myself oh my into? God. But, well, the tunnels, I mean, everywhere here is kind of creepy. The tunnels, though, obviously they're dark. There's like zero light down there. It's a tunnel. Also, yeah, you've got Skippy. It's the entity. There's the nickname. Doesn't like women. And yeah, last time I was down there, I felt something touching me on the back a lot. So, ugh. Oh my God. And that building right behind Amy is the building where I had my experience, guys. So that is in the uncut video. Go and check that out. I went running out and was like, no, and you guys know I don't typically run, but I ran. I just... Hello? What the hell was that? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm melting. Oh, no. No. I just feel this impending doom. Bro, this is my second time this happened to me. I swear to God. It's pure doom. That's what I feel. Let's grab my gear bag. All I can think of is Aussie is Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. Super cute child hood TV show. But Skippy ain't nice. Skippy don't like the women either, so. What? Why is my flashlight going on? Oh no. Is that a setting? Married for outlets. What is that? You gotta song? find the batteries. Uh I'm actually don't know. So I guess we'll go this way. So the entity that is down here is named Skippy. He does not like women. I don't think we know why, but just like every asylum or uh, basically a home for disabled um, children. What did that just say? So we're running the ghost tube. Yeah. The ghost tube uh, box, which is a ghost 
talking up, right? It's spear box out. Basically, these tunnels were used to transport goods, staff members, and maybe some other dark things happened down here. That's kind of the question, right? We don't really know. There was a lot of things that happened here, a lot of abuse that took place, and things that I really don't even want to mention on video, but you guys can only imagine. Last time I was here, I definitely felt a lot of touching on my back. And it was at the point where I was like, is my booty like caught on something? You know, it was very just off-putting. So there's a bat down here and we need to be super careful. Oh, so we're probably okay. gonna be sitting on the floor. <laughs> like we were before. <laughs> Let's see if they wanna come out. And the bat we're here to play. Ooh, the acoustics. Do you guys like singing? Skippy, would you like us to sing you a song? Skippy, come out to play. Please, oh please, but don't ruin my day. Dude, like, I thought you were actually gonna sing the Skippy song. I don't actually know how it goes. It's like Skippy the bush kangaroo. <laughs> so we have a zombie's ass here for some reason. Literally just his butt cheeks. They must be following What the fuck did that go from? <laughs> Let's get some equipment set up, guys. So that will literally just say the word if it's selected. Did you hear that? Someone went psst. <laughs> I'm trying to test if it's like the echo or something. That was a really bad test. We have the Spirit Box app that Amy Crypt created, which is bad. Uh, so if you guys would like, I will leave a link down below in the description. All right, so got you guys it. Can so. Check it out. And we have our REM pod going, of course. All right, Skippy. We're here for you. And you only. We are looking to communicate with the spirit named Skippy or known as Skippy. I heard a footstep. I heard, like, at the start, when we started talking, I heard something down behind more than the other camera. Hey, Skippy, can you make this device go off for us? You just get close to it, just like this. Down. It's actually like eerily silent other than like the few footsteps that I heard. Yeah, it's, it's just like a little thing here and there. He's like, now that you guys are fooling around, I'm not gonna like with y'all. That's basically like what he's doing. Skippy, can you scare us? <gasps> Do you ask that? I'm about I to can't leave. You just asked that. It's what I did for. <laughs> I know. I know. You me too. Just asked that. You asked I'm me if I went back leave, into the bro. Devon building after Don't my experience, that, and I was like, man. probably. I did. I really Don't did. Do shit. <laughs> They said you are funny. funny. Skippy, do you like us? You know what would be funny if you made noise like this. Ow, what the f did I feel like someone just bit me. Hold on. Is there like a fucking bug on me? Yeah, bugs? Where's my flashlight? I think there's I knocked your mic out, I'm so sorry. You're I right. felt like something pinched me. Pinching and biting is a thing actually. In here? Yeah. Well, yeah, everywhere, yeah. Okay, can you just do me a can be physical, yeah. Here, can you hold this really quick? Yeah. I'm like shaking. Look at that. Okay. Sorry, I knocked your mic out. Let me make sure there's no bug. Look at, like, look at the side. What is that? All over the side of my pants. Sit down! <gasps> no, I'm oh. checking if there is a bug on me. Excuse me. That really, really hurt. Like, Error. What do I look yeah. like? I'm bleeding. Oh. Don't yeah, that's like definitely bleeding. red. Let me just take my night shot off for a sec. I look like I'm bleeding and my vein is like protruding. Yeah. It looks like my vein is protruding and that never has There's happened. There's definitely a scratch here. Yeah, but why is my vein doing that? I've never seen my vein do that. Okay. 
I'm not scared of bugs, but that hurt. It felt like if you ever got bit by one of those flies that bite, mm. it, it pinched me. Like it was like a pinch or like um like a pin pincher bug. Like that's what it felt like. I felt like maybe it had a bug on me. Oh, I was just saying what? What? Harm? Do you think I was bit by a bug or do you think that was like skippy? Okay, we need some confirmation. If that was you, can you prove to us that that was you? Like, this is like so itchy all of a sudden. God, I really feel like I got bit by something. We're sitting down again. Is that what you wanted? Do you see that on my vein? What do I look yeah. like I'm bleeding? Don't yeah, that's I'm definitely bleeding. red. Let me just take my night shot off for a sec. I look like I'm bleeding and my vein is like protruding. Yeah, no, here it looks like there's a scratch. It looks like my vein is protruding and that never has there's happened. There's definitely a scratch here. Yeah, but why is my vein doing that? I've never seen my vein do that. Okay. This is pretty fucking disturbing. And wait, look at that. Do you not see that? Yeah, you sure. Do you see that on my knee? Why does it look like I'm bleeding? Well, wait where, a second. Where was, the, where was the pain? Oh. Does it? Either more or more. Why do these look like fresh cuts? Well, that's what I'm, I'm curious because um, I lifted up my, my pants before and these were not on me. Okay, so you felt... I felt like a pinch on the back of my knee. You felt one pinch? Where was the pinch? It was on like the back of my knee, like where this mark is. Okay, so you've got one pinch on the back of your knee. Right. So you definitely have a mark there, like a small cut, and then you've got something on the front as well. So yeah, but I didn't when it says feel harm, small, it's sort of like it's I done like multiple things. It said harm and then more. And look at these look like fresh marks, like they look like blood. Lost. 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 Yes, he can be an incubus. Why are you here? Is that why you're here? You're lost and you don't know where to go? Like, why are you in the tunnels here at Penhurst? Are you okay? I feel bad because I was like, yeah, you can scare us. <laughs> no, it's just I'm like kind of freaked out because I have two cuts on my leg and I don't know where they're from, but they weren't there when I lifted up my pants before and then it said mm. more and I lifted up my pants and now I have two more cuts. You I'm fine. A... I'm totally fine. I've, I, you think remember I was telling you tonight, skippy? I was like, I've only been scratched once. Well, this makes a second time, but this time I have like actual cuts on my body. Okay, well... If that's you, Skippy, I don't like you hurting my friends. You can hurt me, I don't mind, but I don't like you hurting my friends. Skippy, you said lust. What oh. do you want? <gasps> what do you want? We just want to talk and find out more about you. We want to know why you're here. No one's really sure why you're in the tunnels. No one's really sure why you don't like women so much that you will bite them, you will scratch them. Skippy, just so you know, I am protected. You cannot spiritually harm me. Just because you can physically harm me or feel like you can does not mean that you can spiritually harm me. I'm setting a boundary. You are not to follow us out of this tunnel. Do you understand? You are not allowed to follow us home. We are protected by our guides and our angels and the spirits of light here will protect us as well. I'm like completely dumbfounded. I don't even know what to say right now. I have two cuts on my leg, on top of what's on the back of my leg. You know what, Skippy? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little pissed off, okay? So we would really like to know why you're down here because it seems like you like to torture people. And I don't appreciate that because there's innocent souls that are trapped here. Did you hear that? disembodied voice. It was a little kid. It sounded like a little kid talking over me, over the echo. Mm -hmm. But I just want to say, Skippy, there are innocent souls that are trapped here that cannot cross over. And it seems like you're not good for them. And I don't appreciate you physically hurting me. So please, tell us why you're really here. Tell, tell them, Chris. Mm -hmm. You heard that? That was a it was a footstep, and it's getting closer to me. Bro. I don't like this. Can you this. show yourself? No, don't, don't. Oh my god, what are you? Can you 
Can you walk up to that? I don't think that's gonna work. I'll be uh, skippy. It's so weird how I can have all of these cuts on me, but he can't make that red pod go off. That would be bad. A strong spirit. <clears throat> they would cut a visitor. Could go and light up a little red light. I agree. I think it's very strange, Skip. It's like eerily silent, like this yeah. impending doom. What the fuck was that? It's like getting closer to me on my right. Yeah. What the fuck was that? running water back and forth like this. It sounds noises, like little. Sounds like footsteps. Footsteps, of course. Are you sure? Well, Skip, if we walk away from that device with the red light, will you make it go off for us? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, my leg is burning. I wonder if it looks worse now. I'm actually a little concerned about my leg. I, I really am quite unhappy with it, if I'm being honest. Wow, this is like a never-ending hallway. It's really, it's oh really good down here. Like, I think that they probably transported dead bodies. I like there's an, a whisper as well. It's so weird. You talk. Hello? Why? Skippy. Skippy. Yeah, but why is it doing that for me and not you? Mimic? It sounds like... Something is mimicking me. What is up with that? See, it's not doing it now. The echo sounds different. What the hell? I'm waiting for the REM pod to go off. What's down here? Do we do? No, no. What is that? No, don't go in, don't go in. Please. Ugh, there's ghouls in here. Ghouls? Ghouls. Oh, oh, oh no, please, God. What was this used for? You know what? This almost looks like a body. That thing, room. that, that thing popped that? up. Because I swear to God. A lot of times lead, they had bro. very narrow rooms, and it would actually keep the bodies cool in the winter time when there was too much snow. So if people died and they couldn't transport the bodies to have a service or bring them to a burial ground, they would store them in the basements or the tunnels. And I've seen that a lot in abandoned asylums or even state schools. If you guys remember, I filmed a video in Colorado and they had a very narrow room just like this one. It was an all boys school and they had underground tunnels and this, the, the room where they stored the bodies looked just like this one. And they got a lot of snow. And you know, if they couldn't transport the bodies in time for Jeez. a proper burial or to a burial ground, they would place them down in the tunnels in these narrow, narrow rooms because it would keep the bodies cool. I don't know if there's an airflow down here, but there's like plastic. Moving? It's moving. Is that the glare or is it actually moving? I feel like it might actually be moving, but I don't know if it's in the air. That's a door. Oh shit, this is all locked up now. Oh, there's a ball down here. What's a ball? Skippy, maybe we can play with this. Uh, no. It looks like such a weird ball. Here. Let's see. Skip, can you move that ball? Skip, yeah, I know you don't like women, but I mean, if you could just boot that ball into my face, I don't even care. That would make my whole year. <laughs> it would make actually... both of our lives. <laughs> Please. Don't be shy now. You can use that energy to scratch me. But you can't kick a ball into our face. Okay, like, come on now. I wonder what's down there. I think the tunnel's yeah. just going forever. It connected every building on campus. Maybe, so you can like, imagine guys. How fast they are. Be part of, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's so heavy to breathe. Why is that that before? Yeah. Flame. Flame? Why are you here? Flame. 
We're here to talk to you. That's why we're here. I don't know what plan we could represent, but I do think last time we were here in the Denny Valley, we had things related to fire. Oh, no way. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's history of fire here, but it's maybe interesting. Maybe victim, maybe somebody got hurt. Cremated, yeah. If there's anyone else down here that would like to communicate, can you get close to that device with the red dot for us? Yeah. Huh. It's so eerily silent. I'm lost. Well, that's the second time lost has come through. It said lost and I'm lost. I don't like that. That's so sad. Who needs help? What's your name? We'd love to help you if we know who you are. You can share a name, maybe we can. Do you know that you're at Penhurst? The back of my leg is hurting so much. Disrespectful! Oh, I'm sorry if you think we're being disrespectful. I was about to say the back of my leg hurts so bad it's so disrespectful. Are you talking about my leg? I gotta check this out. Should we check it? I'm being left to fend for myself. Amy is leaving me. The back of my leg is absolutely killing me. I don't know what that was. It felt like a bug. I mean, it very well could have been, but I have two scratches on the front of my knee that look fresh. Now the question is, why is this entity down here and why does he like women so much or dislike women so much? <sighs> I feel attacked and maybe, I just feel Maybe he's being doomed. weird. Absolute doom. It feels so uncomfortable down here. The energy is heavy. It's hard to breathe. I think we're gonna try to take some Polaroids and see if we get anything. I'm starting to get like a really bad headache. So Amy said it feels like something is coming closer. Um, we were just checking out my leg and taking a, a sexy Polaroid shoot of my leg. Very sexy. My <laughs> um, but she thinks that something it's is coming, coming closer. Way. You feel it? Yeah. And it, it's like little noises right behind me. Like whenever I turn my back. You're sneaky, aren't you? Last time I was down here, so I felt like something was touching me on the back multiple times, but also we had that minute much noise because we were here during the middle of the storm, which I think did amp up the activity, but unfortunately it also made a lot of sound contamination, so although we were hearing a lot of noises and that down here, we couldn't really rule out, you know, it was just rain because it was, there was a part we found rain dropping right onto like a hospital bed. And it was mm. so loud, it was yeah. really creepy, but like, it was definitely rain. So it's, that whole thing with your leg is very weird to me. Okay, so we are going to head out. My light is already dying. We are heading out of the tunnel and I think we're going to visit Candyland. Wait until I tell you guys about that, but we'll see you later. So guys, we are going into right. the Devon building. This was the boys dormitory. Three of us are going in together. I went in before by myself, but we are going down to Candyland, which is the basement. And what is Candyland? There was a lot of kids here at Penhurst, right? Candyland was essentially a play area for them. So when you go down there, you'll feel like you're in a school gym or something but with all these murals of like cute little kitty paintings on the wall, okay. which again is tragic and sad, so. Yeah, so I actually did not get a chance to go down there before because you guys know so much happened in the uncut video, but now you get to see Z Candyland, so let's get it. This is new. <laughs> what, my flashlight just died. It just turned off by itself. Yeah. Okay, so I came in here by myself before, after the <laughs> trash can incident, and I turn the corner and I see this. Just imagine how I feel after yeah. the trash can incident, and I come back in and I go up to the second floor, but I'm turning and I see these zombie f***s. Like, what is going on? This no. is they must horrifying. be getting set up for their Halloween or something. Yeah, this is horrifying, but I had to like witness yeah. this after the trash can incident, that which happened over there. What October. was it saying? It was like, Hopefully. just lay down. Just lay down. Yeah, so it said, oh, why am I flipped? It said, just lay down. Okay, where? Like, <laughs> in your bed? Like, no thank you. No. Yeah, it's right here. So I go downstairs. Woo! There was someone or something just walking down these stairs. Huge footstep as soon as I stepped in here. And I could have sworn I saw a shadow. I might have caught that on my camera. I'm not sure. Interesting. Down here, All right, guys, we are going to Candy Land. 
I'm actually so hyped for this. Here, cut it. Do we go all the way down? Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how many more stairs? I hope there's no flats. Phantom. That's spooky. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, last time I were down here, this was all flooded to the point we had to walk on doors that were oh my god being water. It was like Titanic. It was like <laughs> Titanic. I would have never found this on my own if I came down here before. I'm getting a high pitch ringing in my right ear. Is anybody else? I don't even have anything. You know what? That, now, that's the same thing <gasps> happened to me. Look at this. Alcohol, Alcohol ruins, ruins lives. lives. That's so crazy because I literally am almost 90 days sober. Okay, so we are in Canada. Hey, Anyways, what I was say. I've never been in a eaten, place man. called Candyland. This, this is, this is actually so cool. I mean, it's sad because it's, oh gosh, like you just think about all the children that were here. That's got the weirdest energy down here as well. It's a cool because, like, you know, we're so fascinated with the paranormal and like the spooky, right? But you have to think about the kids that were down here that were tormented, that truly lived such miserable lives, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the the energy that lingers, and it's sad, but at the same time. Obviously, it's intriguing to us the history, the, the historical aspect of it, the, the strange paintings on the wall, but the energy overall is just very dark, heavy, and sad because of what these kids had to endure. So, yes, I'm calling it Candyland. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. But, like, in reality, it really is probably one of the saddest areas in Penhurst. Right? Yeah. Last time I was down here as well, I got so sick. So, I do feel like there's a lot of energy here and it's very, very heavy. Like, look at this, guys. There's toys everywhere. And these are the original beds, like, that my camera is propped up on right now. Can you see a noise over there? <laughs> yeah, there is a noise going on. It just looks the stuff. Oh, we have candies and we have crystals, guys. Oh, we, oh sorry. Can, candy and crystals. So we're going to leave some crystals. So we have a piece of Labradorite, which is... I think my cat peed on my bag, so if you smell cat peed, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I was like, shit. Right, so this looks like we have, oh, this is perfect. This is blood bloodstone. This is for strength, courage, and protection. This is moss agate, the stone of new beginnings. And we have amethyst, which is good for psychic protection and also uh, stress. So I feel like all three of these Ooh. between strength courage stress relieving and new beginnings i feel like all three of these crystals are an amazing offering to the children down here and i think it can give them some good energy with the bloodstone bringing strength and courage maybe it can encourage them to move on if they're unhappy here right for sure and then of course we have the amethyst which is really pretty maybe they would even just like the color you know and the pink starburst that you that you brought up which is so awesome <laughs> so we are leaving these crystals here i knew i kept them in my bag for a reason <laughs> i like got this from, mask. From we're like from in a bed Quintus. she's ready to go to bed she got, I got this from really really the so we are doing a double estes method amy <laughs> will relay what she hears on the spirit box and she will have noise canceling headphones on as well as a blindfold now i'm going to be using the ghost tube sear lens and i will be letting you guys know what images pop up along with the spirit box responses that amy is receiving so this should be interesting i've never done this before like a double estes method so i'm really curious to see like what actually happens have you we did this last time we were at Penhurst and we had the craziest come Oh on. my god. Like, I've already been scratched. Like, I, I can't handle it. I've already had to run out of this building. Like, I've already ran out of this building. Like, what more crazy could go on? We'll oh out. no, I shouldn't ask that. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. That? <laughs> oh god, why would I dare? Real quick, we're just gonna throw in a quick plug. This is Amy's Crypt Invention, okay? She created this. The link will be down below. A lot of investigators are already using the Ghost Tube lens. So go check this bad boy out. If you are into investigating, this is like bad ass. Honestly, wait until you see the images. We're gonna include them on the screen. Hi, Amy. <laughs> oh my God, this is a glowing candle. It's very colorful, like this room. Same candle. It's weird that we got it at the same time the lane can just up. I think it's interesting because we were talking about um, if there's any spirits down here that would like to move on, and it's like a light. There's a light with a flame. 
it's a candle with a flame. And when we were in the tunnel, I was telling whatever was down there if you'd like you, to move on. Who, who, who are we speaking to? Who's here with us right now? How many of you down here? Can you show me something? A message you would like to relay through an image? What did you tell us your name? In there. That was a kid. In where? Where would you like us to go? You look there. <gasps> Jared, wherever you were looking, keep looking there. I'm looking, I'm looking. I said you she said you look there. Maybe that's where the yeah. child is. I'm looking in the doorway. Is that where you are? You can come in. On. Would you like to come in and hang out with us? You can play. Okay, I don't like this. It's two men and they are like, oh, ew. They're arguing and there's like something in this man's mouth. It almost oh. looks like. Is this like having a or something? They're having beers and they're arguing and this man has something in his mouth. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a cigar and a cigar holder. And they just look evil. Did you work here? Yeah. No, I don't know. No, this is so ugly and bad. These men are evil. Poor Amy. <gasps> no. Okay. Can you go and touch her for the leg? Okay, the image is gone. That was awful. I don't like that because of the things that were done to the children here. That's what it's making me think of, these men. Treat. Treat, the way they treat the children. Treat? Okay, this is making me so uncomfortable that I just saw two like- We liked it. <gasps> like a, what? Literally, I'm gonna fucking cry because this is so disgusting right now. Careful. Who, who are they? Can you tell us about them? The men. Yes, the men. The men. <laughs> the men. Sorry. Oh my God. Tell us about, tell us about that. At who the back. Who are we speaking to? at the back. I wonder if they did stuff to them down here in this room. This is like, I'm not, um, I can't make out anything that they're saying, but there's, feels like little kids' voices, but they're very faint and like spoken over. Hi. 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 It's okay to come forward. My name is Chris, this is Amy, and that's Jared. There is a picture of a basically naked man. Oh. Or maybe it's a woman. It's a man. And his arm is like filleted. Like his arm looks like it's like chopped off. It's quite disturbing and the background is red. Hiya. Hi. This looks like a demon. If I'm being real with you, Jared, this looks yeah. demonic. I don't, I, I don't even know what the hell this is. Can you tell us what used to happen down here? Did you play games? Was it big, I want to say big red. Like that was a man, like big red. Big red. Mm -hmm. Jared, it's Eric. what did I just say? The entire background's red. And it looks like a demonic man. I just, oh, I feel sick. Just like, literally, that's so disturbing. But, oh, this is so crazy. I feel like I heard ghost. <laughs> okay. Can you show me another image? Maybe she can show you your favorite tweet. Threaten. Cut. Big. Big red. So it's got to be somebody that they call Big Red down here. Again. Big red just sounds like someone in prison. Yeah, it sounds like somebody that they're afraid of. Look. I'm looking. Okay. Can you show me another picture so I can see? I mean. We can't yeah. see you. Ooh. Ooh. This has a chills. My, my whole back is like icy cold. <laughs> if you were to feel my back, Jared, you'd be like, yeah. I feel like there's ice on it. I'm not even kidding. It is so bizarre. Moving through. No, I can't see it. Leave it. My back is ice cold. I'm like literally sweating. Oof. Can you show me at least one more photo? Anything that you would like me to know. We can't physically see you. Sure. You got this. 
You can do it. You did it before. Keep talking with us. I still don't see anything. But maybe they don't want to show me something right now. But I'm also getting the vibe that this entity, this man, this spirit is kind of holding them back from wow. here. Just kidding. I feel like it's got very quiet. It's like, you know, I have no idea what this is. Couldn't even tell you. No idea. It, it looks like something's morphing. Yeah, I feel like there's someone. Um, okay, so when you said Big Red, there was a man right before you said Big oh, Red. Oh, did you stop? That? Sorry, I just pulled out then because it was like very, got very quiet. It started very quiet and then it was like it started coming through and then it just like went away again. That's Big Red. You said red. It looks like paint and like. Yeah, and I couldn't tell if it was a male or a woman, but like it made me very uncomfortable. Is that a shadow or is that a second figure? It's like a, I have no idea, but, but you, you, so I came up whilst I was just fixing it up. There. But the red, I said, there's a red background. I can't tell if it's a man, but the yeah. eyes look kind of demonic. Like, look, you see that? Yeah. You said, after I said that immediately within seconds, you go big red. That was like a dude as well, like big red, a gruff man. Yeah. Is there a woman down here? Um, I don't know who, oh, I got. Chills. <gasps> I got big chills before. Is there something right there? This is yo-yo in the arsenal. Oh my god, I thought that was doing it by itself. These are our offerings. We have some candy from Amy, some amethyst, bloodstone, and moss agate. We hope that you guys like your new gifts. We have some chalk, you have a little action figure there. Looks like a cup that would have had like Italian ice or something, or maybe some candies. All right guys, so we are heading out of Candyland. I'm gonna go meet up with Jenny because I want her to tell her story about what happened to her down here and how she was chased out of the building to the front of the main yeah. building, the Mayflower. I actually yeah. feel like I can get lost. If I was here by myself, I wouldn't really know where to go. I just feel like a lot of really bad things happen down here. I feel sick, I feel physically ill. Oh my God. Guys, I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up. Can we please just like acknowledge what that is over there? What is that? Guys, come is, look at this. What the I came there? out here and this looked like it was moving. It's probably in my imagination because it's just really creepy, but like, do you see that? That like ghost looking thing? Oh, I really can't see from there. It's my very It is so disturbing. Oh. And I stood here and I just felt completely ill. Like, I just feel ill. I, that's what happened to Amy last time she was here. Amy got really bad just migraine. This just this building. And down here, I was very nauseous. This is just called the Devon building. This is where the boys slept and they housed the, the boys. But if you guys want to see more of the upstairs, you can check out my uncut video. I'm going to head over to the Mayflower right now and um, we are going to split up and I'm going to be completely alone. Oh my God. Good luck. Oh geez, I'm so, I don't know, I've been scratched. I've been <laughs> kicked and punched and spit on like, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm being dramatic. But really I've been scratched and just with the chaos that has in, ensued. You're gonna die, that's lovely. All right. Oh man. Let's go talk to Jenny. Might have pulled it out too soon, oh, but it's gonna cool. Oh, that's so cute. Guys, look at us. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, this is where we say our farewells. Good luck in the Mayflower building. Yes. Good luck you to you guys this. in the Devon's Thank building. You. Everything over uh, there uh, tonight uh. felt nice to me. So Good. hopefully you finish on a high. <laughs> and the spirit in the basement says to hate men, but I felt like we got along. So did my light just die? Yeah. All right, guys, so I am in the Mayflower building. This is the main building. The nurses and staff stayed on the third floor. This is the museum area. I shared this on my live stream. If you were on that live stream, thank you. There's a lot of artifacts down here some children's toys, the beds, and the layout that basically when they had their rooms, it was set up just like that. So if you come here and you visit, you'll see little areas that are set up just like the way the rooms were set up. It has the bed, it has a cabinet, it has a dresser, a bedpan, it has the, the gowns that they would make them wear. Now, I did want to go and explore more of this building, but unfortunately, after being scratched and my leg just absolutely 
being demolished by whatever entity was in the tunnel, I am just feeling super drained and really unwell. And when my energy starts feeling like this, I know that I'm very susceptible to spirit attachment. And even though this building tends to have more positive energy, I'm just feeling super uncomfortable. I do have the ghost tube spirit box app out. So I'd like to see if anything comes through. We did get stuff about a fire and burning coming through on the spirit box before. It turns out that there's been multiple fires here, one including um, on the third floor of this building. So I thought that was very interesting. We had no idea that any fires took place, but basically right behind me is a very dark and strange hallway. And before the lights were flickering and I was telling it to stop and it would stop, so that happened. But this is an area that investigators typically don't investigate because it's just more of a museum with artifacts. I guess they find it to be a little boring. I don't think it's boring. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of what the rooms would have looked like and some of the children's toys. And of course, I'm going to keep the spirit box on. Actually, nothing is really popping up right now which is very interesting. So Jen, who was kind enough to come here and be security and, and look out for us for the evening, was telling me a story about the tunnel because that's where I had my experience. So that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> my leg is so purple and my vein is like protruding. It, it, it's very, very ugly. <laughs> And I have two scratches, two little nicks that have formed into a scab. And another mark on my knee, which is odd. I don't know if I was leaning on something, but I felt like something pinched me and it did something to my veins. It felt like my veins got all twisted. Now they're just like bulging. It's really ugly. So Jen's story is so disturbing. While we were in the tunnel, we heard harm more and the word lust. And there's an entity down there named Hi, Skippy, no but a lot of people think it's a spirit. I think it's an entity. The way that I would differentiate a spirit from an entity, <laughs> ridiculous, no, is a entity is something that was not human, something that was inhuman. A spirit is something, or someone rather, that was once living. And especially after hearing the word lust and hearing Jen's story, what you'll see kind of where I'm going with this, but I do believe that it could possibly be a succubus. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up. Um, it's a demon that preys on women and I already this, know about uh, it. being, entity, creature, whatever you would like to call it, uh, really feeds off of women. And it really, it did a number on me, okay? So let me show you my leg. Let's see what we're looking like. Now I have this huge red mark on my leg and I don't know where the hell that came from, but here's the two marks on my leg. And then there is my vein. It's all purple. Look at that guys. Obviously energy can travel to wherever it feels like it wants to travel to. And at this point I was attacked and I was a target. Let me show you some of the artifacts here on the children's toys and what their bedrooms would have looked like. I really want this doll. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no! no. Oh, 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 don't touch it, don't touch it. Sorry about that. Oh, like oh my God. Plastic, but it has red, red eyes. Bro, I, I don't fuck with that doll. But I'm sorry, but no. Here are some of the toys. These are actual toys that were here when the children were here. But it's absolutely heartbreaking because these children were so severely neglected. This place was so understaffed. It was known to be one of the worst state schools or homes for boys. This actually housed all boys, this campus, and, and the girls were up just a little bit by a hospital that's still active that is off this property. So we have the medical table with, I don't know why my camera's getting all blurry. They did do lobotomies here. That was confirmed. That looks like an old defibrillator. We see the glass medical bottles. Dental air coma. What does that say? I don't even know. That's a little strange. Okay, let's move over here because here are the gowns. So here's what a setup would have looked like. And you can see very similar. So we have an original bed, an original cabinet, some toys that would have been in the room. This looks like a high chair slash wheelchair. So they would eat, have them sit up in it. 
And there is a bedpan right over there on top of a dresser. Those are real gowns that the patients here would wear. Here is a crib. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. This light flickers. And every oh time I tell God. it to stop, it stops. Can you stop? No. no. You were doing it before. Can you stop with the light? It's not going to stop. <laughs> well, it's, it's Did not that just stop. call me a name? Did you just call me a name? I asked it to stop with the light and it stopped. Did you just call me a name? I feel like I just want to do a walkthrough up here to the third floor because I did not do that and this is where the fire was. So I think I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough up to the third floor. Oh, we have another light that's flickering. Oh, it's getting hard to breathe. Oh, my. CK. I don't like this at all, man. Oh, I don't know. It's very hard to breathe up here. I'm not feeling too good. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Yeah. I feel like something's following me at yeah. this point. Not feeling too fing good. Oh man. I'll be honest. I don't know, my pancreas is like acting up. I went all the way up to the third floor and I started feeling like super dizzy. Let me show you the coolest part, which are the hospital beds and the big teddy bear. Oh, we got some light up here. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Oh. All right. I'm actually going to throw the spear box back on for you guys. Hello to everybody in this building. You saw me earlier. Is it okay that I'm back? Yeah. Here we are. like someone's standing back there. Don't leave. Is someone standing back there? Please don't come. Yes or no? No? Okay, well it looks like there is. <laughs> These are original beds, guys. Everything is original that you see. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> so I just wheezed. The fire was on the third floor. I tried walking up there and I just couldn't. I had to leave. I'm about to open this energy drink. to talk to Jenny about her experience down in the tunnel. Her experience in the tunnel solidifies a couple theories that I have. So we did hear the word harm and lust. I do feel like it's inhuman, like I was mentioning a little bit earlier. But let's hear what Jenny has to say. Jenny, what do you do here exactly? I'm a paranormal investigator and guide for the public tours on the weekends. So what happened to you down in those tunnels? Because I just had an experience and you were mentioning that you had something happen to you that was pretty horrific. Uh, yeah, it was pretty terrifying actually. So uh, during COVID, um, to keep our fans and whatnot uh, interested we started doing facebook live it was me and two other investigators we would take turns rotating uh, we would do um, isolated investigations just one person here doing a one hour live so i was down in the rockwell tunnel there is a, a grumpy spirit down there his name is skippy a lot of things were kind of leading up to this as well but um we came to the conclusion that it was it's something else down there so i'm doing the live and these weird words are coming out of the ovulus like feed them you know, and you start to think about all oh, well, the patients here, they're hungry, they're starving, whatever. So what but, do you think that meant? 
uh, to me after thinking about everything. I think it was more like uh, they want us, to, this entity wants us to feed it, you know, energy, give it energy. We're doing that by going down there and talking to it and interacting with it. Now, do you think that this is the entity that was interacting with me when I was in the tunnel? Um, that scratched yeah, me, probably saying hurt 99%, me, percent, yes. Me. Yeah, so you were down there and something happened to you. Mm -hmm. I was down there for an hour and 40 minutes. I l felt like I lost time. I blacked out uh, a few times because there were things I don't remember. And again, I don't even remember being down there for an hour and 40 minutes. So finally, the girl who was doing security that night had to actually come and get me out of the tunnel. And she's like, I was worried about you. But I was kind of refusing to leave the tunnel. I'm like, no, let's just stay down here. They were like, no, we got to go. So I went to grab my stuff and all of a sudden the tunnel just started, you know, it felt like I was in a spiral and I got really dizzy and I'm up against the wall and I just felt like it was spinning. They actually had to grab me and hold me up and walk me out of the tunnel. And then I felt really nauseous and my friend told me, she's like, you know, mom, get it out, get it out of your system. It has to come out, but I couldn't do it. She drove back and me and my friend were walking back. I turned to look at him and everything blacked out and I saw this just black mass and it started coming towards me. I took off, I started running. I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. And he starts running after me. So we get down to here, Mayflower, and uh, I felt like as if I was pushed against the wall over there. And I, I just started crying. Like, I just felt like something was, you know, trying to get at me or whatever. And so something was manipulating your energy, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, definitely. And I could feel it and it was just, it was so scary. And again, and I was blacking out at certain points and then my body just went into pain. And I said, uh, the only way I could describe it is if, you know, you took a ball of a paper and crumbled it into a ball. I felt like that's what was, something was happening in my body. And then my legs kind of gave out. They were trying to find me a chair. I said it felt like somebody snapped a pretzel and I fell to the ground and I just kept saying, leave me alone, you know, go away. What actually stopped it? The Savannah who was here, she grabbed her sage um, and was trying to cleanse the area in me. And then I just kept trying to fight it internally, you know, and again, I was just, just crying and just getting it all out. And I mean, it's it's so hard to explain. It sounds like whatever's down there is inhuman. Would you agree? Yes. I feel like after my experience, I can confirm that whatever's down there is definitely not something that was once living. And I think that it possibly was conjured by someone that came here when this place was abandoned mm -hmm. because we can indirectly conjure energy like you mentioned earlier people don't know what they're doing or they don't close the session but people also would come here and probably do things intentionally mm -hmm. like rituals and stuff like that so it kind of makes a lot of sense why something like that would exist down there and i had quite the experience and mm -hmm. my leg is still very purple like my veins are, oh, are like just really not looking good so people have said that and speculated that that's what happened um when this place was you know not operational as on uh attraction or anything like that that people someone did open something they did find uh remnants of you know candle wax so and rituals and, and things like that so. yeah god knows what these people did right sacri yeah. who knows and they could have done sacrifices they could have done ouija boards and all that stuff yeah. that conjures that energy so and you mix that with you know what happened here and you mix all that together now do you think that the boys that lived here were abused in the tunnels again you know we we have no confirmation on that it's mostly speculation but i mean in my personal opinion like what you feel deep in your heart uh yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah well, sadly um you know i think a lot of people were just frustrated and maybe not right and you have the kind of perfect place you have these underground tunnels it's almost like you had people that were suffering taking care of people that were suffering right <laughs> and back then people with um mental and physical disabilities were thought of as not exactly human themselves you know right. like they have no feelings right you know? so you know i think maybe they thought well we can just do whatever we want and right. they won't even know what's happening mm -hmm. yeah and they and they some of them can't talk right you know so who are they gonna tell it's it's very sad and that's why i'm here you know i, ca I care about the patients and i want to give them a voice you know when they didn't have one and we're here to still protect them and let them know it's okay now
All right, guys, that is going to conclude my time here at Pennhurst. It was something else. Honestly, the energy here is unlike anything I've ever felt before. Huge shout out to Amy's Crypt and Jared. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah thank you so much. It was a blast, right? Except yeah. for when my uh, veins got twisted and I got scratched. But um, how are you guys feeling? You guys feeling okay? I'm hot feeling and sweaty. Hot and sweaty. <laughs> but good. Like it, it I feel like we have had a lot of stuff happen here, so I'm really yeah, I'm pleased with it. Yeah, the last time we were here we got these footsteps, so we were really keen to come back and try to debunk that and try to look into what could cause that, so and we still can't debunk it, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was just the spirits of the little kids, which I actually didn't even mention Emily. And Emily had a brother who stayed in this building and his name is George and she's still looking for him. So maybe next time I come back, we will talk more about Emily, but there's just so much to touch upon here at Pennhurst, guys. I could be here for hours. I already filmed for what, like five hours and I didn't even get everything in, but hopefully next time when I come back, we will have so much more to touch upon just like they did this time. And and uh, yep, yeah, that's gonna conclude this video and I will catch you guys super soon. Peace out, Starlings. Ah. Bye. <laughs> Not gonna lie, man. Um, you saw a lot of things that most messed up how this happened. Like someone tried to, some of the spirits or negative spirits trying to scratch you all that try to push you away and all that that's very scary situation how this happens like when you investigate further like somewhere in asylum house you name it because there's a lot of things that that might end up in dangerous and that's how i if i ever want to be a paranormal investigators i have to be careful i need to do something to, like protect and all that type of stuff and that's how it is and also i had a ghost tube as well so if y'all want me to try out tomorrow i will do that if i can so yeah but shout out to chris star you know holding it down um hopefully i will react to more of primal uh paranormal investigator if i can so yeah but i think that's gonna be it for today um make sure you like comment subscribe and click the bell notification down below and i will see y'all next time it's tyler signing out bye and stay safe out there all right i don't know how this is gonna happen but yeah stay safe